Hey, what's up? It's me again, Toroge Pro, and we are going to talk about the different types of network switches. In most cases, if we want to expand our network, we would be looking into adding a network switch so that we can plug additional computers or devices there. These network switches have different types that varies from function to feature. And if you do not know that yet, well, let's get started. So let's start to look into a non-manageable switch like what I have here. This is a TP-Link 8 port non-manageable switch. Now it's called non-manageable switch or unmanaged because we just go ahead and buy this one, plug them to our network and that's it. No configurations needed. Another one we have here is a 24 port TP-Link switch. The good thing about these non-manageable switches are they are cheap and you don't need any configuration to use it. At the same time, being a managed switch is its own disadvantage because you cannot control anything that goes through the switch. Now let's get a manageable switch and try to compare it physically. Um, here's an old Cisco switch I have. Um, it's kind of big, but of course, we have also manageable switches that are smaller than this. As you can see, there's what we call a console port that you cannot find on uh, non-manageable switches because you're not going to configure that one. There's security with the switch because for example, we can configure each port of this one to accept connections from computers that we want to be connected to the switch. At the same time, we can create VLANs, we can do bandwidth management, quality of service, and a lot more. Configuring the switches are already becoming easy because of a graphical user interface that I'm going to show you with a tip link that we use in our office. It's easier to see and understand what a manageable switch can do compared to a non-manageable switch. Okay, this is our tip link manageable switch in our office. You can read it there and look at this console port. Okay, let's go ahead and plug our computer and try to access the web graphical user interface of the switch. Let's log into this uh, TP-Link manageable switch. And you can see each port here. We can click on each port and see the usage of each of these ones. And uh, here on the upper tabs, there are also other configurations we can do. Let's go ahead and check on uh, access security. Now uh, you can click here and check on the control that mode that we can do. We can do it via IP, MAC address, or port base. This is what I'm mentioning that we can add security on who can connect to the switch. Here on our navigation here, you can see that there are a lot of features we can do like VLANs, quality of service, access list, network security, and so much more so you have seen a snapshot of what a manageable switch can do so let's go ahead and log out the next thing we're going to see is a power over ethernet switch this power over ethernet switch uh, comes with a version of manageable and non-manageable of course the manageable one is more expensive again compared to a non-manageable they will have this power over ethernet uh, feature now as you can see here i'm going to plug this cctv poe poe devices are becoming popular nowadays because um, when you're going to use this power over ethernet device you're not going to worry where you're going to get the power source of this device because it comes with the ethernet cable at, at the same time another example this wi-fi access point power port adapter here but we're not going to use that one we're just going to plug this cable that has a support with poe and you can see it's powering up again so that's the example of our poe switch uh, another example of a poe manageable switch is like what i've unboxed with unify the ubiquity switch unify switch that we have i'll put the link up here you can click that one and look at how i unbox and at the same time you can see how you can manage the switch there are a lot of things you can do with it. So that's all about the different types of network switches. And if you think I missed something or I didn't mention, just uh, don't forget to comment down below. Let us know about it. Now, if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, just consider subscribing. If you like videos like this, come on, just like my videos, share it, and we'll have more videos.